This past weekend, two Europeans had amazing showings in not European tournaments. We of course had Glutiny winning Rewired Fest, and we are going to be watching him versus Light in Grand Finals. And the other is the number one Roy player from Europe, Flo, who got 17th at Kagadibi number 11 with one of the best wins of his career. We're going to be starting with the Glutiny set versus Light in Grand Finals, and then the Proto Banham versus Flo set afterwards. The timestamps are in the description, so you can just kind of click to which part you want to watch but let's go into the Gluto set first. So Gluto had made it to Grand Finals, uh, beating Light in Winter Semis and Mutace in Winter's Finals after Mutace had that crazy win on Spargo with that insane combo at the end. And the Winter Semi set of Gluto versus Light was a 3-0. So let's see how this one goes. I don't remember what this set count was. Ooh, yeah. Love the up out of shield. Gluto's some, definitely a person that, like, he will try to go for Nair and stuff, but that is technically slower than his up out of shield, so he will sometimes just, like, start uh, letting the up out of shield rip, which is, in my opinion, so good. What the hell? Ooh, that down tilt on drop shield didn't punish? That's crazy. Fox side B is, like, low key really hard to punish sometimes. Oh, he was right. That was not a combo. There's no way. But Gluto was actually playing ridiculously well this tournament, but so was Light. I mean, Light, after losing to Gluto, went on a crazy loser's run, uh, beating Spargo in, like, an insane way, and then beating Mudace in loser's finals pretty handily, in my, uh, from what I remember. Um, so, yeah, he was playing ridiculous after he lost in winners. But running into, like, a stone wall of Gluto. Oof. The fast faller? That's crazy. I wonder if you could have gone for like an up smash or something there. Oh, the pop-up hitbox? Light, not gonna get it. But the up smash, yep. That fair is not safe on shield. Gluto has been holding down on his uppies like a lot recently. Uh, and I like seeing it to kind of dissuade any like two frame attempts. Oh, is he dead? Oh my god. That combo was insane. So it was fair, he tried to do dash nair and missed. Because fair dash nair, I'm pretty sure, would have comboed. Yeah, for sure. But so the misses, he gets the weak nair anyway. Gets an up air into a jump back, double jump nair. Reads the DI out, so then dash... I don't know if it was a read or a reaction, but he uh, saw the DI out and then dashed and waft. That was so good. Of course, either way would have been a kill had he got it right, but damn, that was good. Oh, I'm kind of surprised that bike didn't hit a second time, but Light has a lot of momentum this game too early. Is he going to get the ledge trap? Yeah, he's doing preemptive ledge traps on ledge jumps. But the roll from Gluto, quick adaptation, not a two frame, because again, I don't remember if I made a video about this, but you don't, if you uh, recover horizontally, it's like the above the ledge thing, and you actually don't have a two frame. And Fox, because he kind of like teleports positions, like this was the frame before. And then this was the non two frameable part. Like, unless you're hitting literally here, you're not hitting this character on a two frame. Like, you have to go off stage to hit him here, which is crazy. Ooh, Gluto tried to hit the double jump, didn't get it. Light's gonna get his pressure. Yeah, just again, a lot of damage for Light, a lot of momentum. Again, Light was playing amazingly well. Before this tournament, Glutiny uh, was had a three set win streak. The winner semis made it four. And so again, like recently, Glutiny has had Light's number. So it's been very impressive to see just the consistency that Glutiny has against such a strong player in Light, who of course is like capable of beating literally every, anyone and everyone in the world. As he's as we've seen multiple times from him. Ooh, great empty jump, damn. Ooh, that would have been so awesome. Nice bike though by Gluto. Gonna hit the double jump. Not gonna get the uh, forward tilt. Yup, and then of course Light recognizing that Gluto wants to get out of the corner, but that's why he positions himself backwards. That's part of the reason he goes for those back airs, is so if someone tries to jump around that, he can just get, that was a crazy angle, uh, he can still get uh, that up smash. But how did he recover? Like, what? That's crazy. And it's not two frameable? What the hell? Unless that's his two frame, but like it doesn't look like it is. He's below the ledge! That's crazy. Oh yeah, that bike actually messing up the combo. So it comes out frame one, it was in the air for the first one, but then if you are hitting tilts, I really don't like the fact that you can do tilts on like big uh, items like that and pick them up. Light doesn't actually messes up the combo, but it doesn't matter. Jeez, look at this damage. Empty jump, of course, there with the pressure. Full hop empty jump? Damn, yeah, Light's just cooking this game. This is what happens when Light has momentum, and he can just do this versus any player. Light just keeping him in the corner with these back throws. 
Yeah, double back air. Just hit the jump or not. Nice. Yeah, definitely Gluto, this game needs to either get his momentum going earlier to kind of quell the ability for Light to get his, or just needs to stop Light in the first place. Oh, what a parry by Light into the dash up tilt. That was crazy. Got the tech chase, there we go. If you don't hit the ground really early with this Nair, then he gets to do an option, or not an option, it's like just option coverage of like going for a jab if they tech in place or miss, uh, or miss tech for a jab lock. And then if they do uh, tech, you can just dash and hit them, which is crazy. So we had Light with basically an entire stock lead. Of course, Gluttony now doing well, but like Light was at 30% when, uh, when he got the kill, but geez, Gluto only got hit once, that's insane. Is he dead? Okay, I thought Gluto was somehow going to get the edge guard. That would have been sick. Out of shield in there. That's the risk if Light tries to push the dash attack and it doesn't work. He can get out of shielded, but not going to be the biggest combo because Gluttony uh, doesn't hit the full combo and Light then gets a ton of damage. Oh, reads it. Reads the other. Oh, that was a really good sequence though by Gluto. I'm a big fan. Nice parry by Light. Was a little unsure about the up smash, so instead goes for a grab, but then... Uh, gets put in disadvantage, but the back air there, again, Gluto missing just a little bit, not getting his full momentum, uh, in terms of like, not like the air momentum, just, you know, momentum in the game, that would have been a crazy read. Okay, he didn't want that, it seems like, from Light talking in the player cam. Ooh, nice coverage with the Trump. Doesn't get the tech chase, but either way, still very impressive ideas right now by Light. But he is in disadvantage, doesn't have a side B, and thought he was going to be off the ledge. So instead of recovering with that up B, ends up just letting himself be susceptible. Glutono has a lead, and of course has full waft, so any Nair can potentially be death, but again, recognizes that cross up. Oh, full hop downer, so good for Fox if you're able to call out these full hops. Uh-oh, falling fair, gonna be that. Now, up tilt kills, up air kills, uh, waft off stage kills, which is a problem. Tries to get a read, does he? Oh, but gets the up tilt on that? Wow, that was a lot of pressure. So it's the landing there, doesn't get the landing up air, and then rolls, light tries to down tilt like a spot dodge, and then gets up tilted into waft and dies. 2-1 Gluto. So Light did win game four, but we're going straight into game five, back to small battlefield. I love no DSR. <laughs> oh, I love that punish by Light going aggressive on that uppy, but Gluto ends up getting the hit anyway. Multiple parries? Definitely need to do multiple parry, or those parries into just shield, uh, and that way could have just punished the downer out of shield, which is definitely a lot more punishable than neutral air, for example. Nice turnaround grab, knowing the light was going to hold shield for that up B or something like that. Tries to get the two-frame and does do it. This two-frame is ridiculous. Gluto's so good at them. Trying to, yeah, trying to find light's timing and getting a lot of damage. Oh my goodness, off of the ledge? This is literally 83% from a ledge hop nair. That air dodge read was actually crazy. Holding down, yeah, trying to hit light back off stage. Doesn't get the forward smash either. The momentum is just firmly in Gluto's favor right now. The shine stall, great by light. Oh, and gets the tech away read, so it's an even stock, but again, half waft is online. Full waft will be online for third stock, which of course for Fox, because he is so light in particular, is terrifying. Like the fast fall nature plus the light weight uh, is like not sometimes bad because sometimes you can get out of combos easily, uh, but like Wario in particular is very good at comboing fast fallers and a lot of the combos that he gets on light, uh, sorry, that Gluttony gets on light are like unique to Fox. Um, oh, the down air just retorting with the landing aerial. Luto does air dodge a lot of the time, so doing those aerials is actually like a pretty big uh, like confusion. Uh-oh. He died across stage. Okay, yeah, I was like, what? That's 80% though, back air. No double jump on light. I think he's just dead. Oh, he did have a double jump. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, the full hop falling fair, dude. This stock was crazy. I can just rewatch in like 10 seconds. Okay, so it's fair nair. That's the nair I was talking about earlier. Fair nair, up air nair. Waft hits the wrong way. If it hit to the left, I'm pretty sure it would have killed into a back air trading with nair. 
and then a great stall there by Light, and then the turnaround full hop fair into dash attack. Gonna combo on Fast Fallers. 3-2 for Gluto. That is, of course, Europe's best player has re-emerged as Glutony because for a while it seemed like it was Bloom, but Glutony kind of destroying it recently, easily in like the top five or seven players currently. But let's go to the other European, uh, you know, performance this weekend, Flow over Proto Banim. So of, so, of course, Bantam has been, uh, you know, a little absent from tournaments for health issues uh, and flow. I don't think Flo travels a ton. I don't think he's ever been to Japan. I think he has been, of course, to the States a couple of times and, of course, travels, like, in Europe. But I honestly don't watch Flo that often, so I'm excited to see what happens, especially in a Swordy Mirror match. I'm surprised that uh, Bantam didn't go Min Min. I don't think Europe has a lot of Min Min's. And also, I think, I think the matchup's just good for Min Min. Maybe that's just uh, me being wrong, which is possible. Ooh, and gets the edge guard. This should be just a counter. No, misses it. Okay. Right now, Bantam has all of the momentum. Flo not able to get uh, a move that'll kill, even though Roy is good at killing. Uh... Ooh, weak jab, tech chase, down smash. I've never seen that before. Ooh, what a falling up air. Misses the RAR, though, so leave some percent on the table. Double Nair. Parries. That would have been insane. Down air into back air. No, misses it. And suddenly the game is even. Like, Flo just brought it back so heavily. Banham has gone for one panic up B, and it hasn't worked. And now Flo has the lead. That stock was actually so good for... Ooh, great forward smash. But yeah, that was a really good stock for Flo. I mean, just Roy momentum is crazy. There's another panic up B. Banham, we do know he loves those panic up Bs. Because, uh, I mean, it's it's Lucina. You kind of got to do it sometimes. But, uh, oh, nice falling down air to get out of that position. Yeah, getting off the ledge against Bantam is so hard. Jab, Nair, not gonna hit Nair 2, though. Empty jump, down tilt. Uh-oh, yeah, forward tilt, that's dead. And the really, after the really bad beginning, like first stock and a half by Flo, destroyed that game, so game one goes to him. Okay, yes, there we go. The Min Min is coming out. Uh, let's see what happens, because I feel like this is a very good matchup for Min Min, mostly because just Roy explodes, and like you can kind of wall him out really effectively since Roy has to, like, commit to his movements pretty, like, consistently. Nice parry down smash. That was actually so good. Down smash is a very, very good move for Min Min. There's the edge guard attempt. Not gonna get it. Edge trapping, though. Of course, currently big lead for Bantam. Uh, ooh, I don't think he meant that smash attack there. Gonna get a punish is Flo dissuading the edge guard attempts with these arms. Yeah. Not gonna hit any of these two frames though, and missing the megawatt ledge trap gets the parry on the megawatt nair and the jump read because Inmans love to double jump out of hit stun because it is terrifying to get hit by her, or as her rather. Yeah, there's the, there's the nair. Okay, thirteen percent. Mm-hmm. Goes for the center stage after the dash attack, so makes sense for uh, Banham. But Flo again, not too far behind. No double jump. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, there's the megawatt. Are you dead? No, not gonna get the full like combo. Jab forward smash. I don't know why he keeps going for jab forward smash specifically. I don't feel like it works as well for Roy. Unless you're getting like a two frame or something. Oh, jab back air not working there. Continuing to go for the edge guard. Not going to get it. Almost got reversal low key. Gentleman jab. Oh. <gasps> Proto kind of uncharacteristically going off stage for some reason. And going to die for it because he put himself closer to the blast zone. And Flo was able to hit him towards the easy side and get a kill. Back throw, up B, no up B. Yeah, there's the mega, there, sorry, there's the Ram Ram that should be dead. <gasps> Indeed it is. Flo swinging for the fences right now. Gets the hit finally. Nair actually connecting. <gasps> did that hit the double jump? I don't think it did. Yeah, that is still going to be a recovery for Bantam. That was such a good holding of the jump by Bantam. That was insanely good. Oh no, going through with the tech chase? That was an insane sequence still from Flo overall. Yeah, it could have been a big hit, doesn't do it. Do you know, is definitely delaying and not double jumping there, which is really important. There's some swings to dissuade the edge guard. Oh, landing there. Oh, that was almost dead. Oh, if he did a roll down tilt, I think uh, Bantam could have got the kill there. 
Yeah, this is hard. Getting off the ledge as, as Min Min can be pretty difficult, especially uh, if the opponent will just kind of preemptively swing and not try to just react, so you can't, like, ledge jump, do arm. Yeah, he's just... These positionings have been so unfortunate for Bannum, because, like, every single time, like, there's a platform there, there's something that just, like, is preventing Bannum from doing, like, a full combo, which would be true without any of these, like, interactions. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that didn't get a punish there, but Flo again has him at 151. Any single hit is going to be good for Flo to get that game. Is he going to get it? No, it's going to hit him off stage. I think he's dead. Yeah, wow. That could easily have been 2-0 for Flo, but we're going into game three at 1-1. Going to stay Min Min, go to town and city is Flo, which I agree with. I mean, it's probably Roy's best stage. Oh, nice combo by Venom. Oh, no double jump? Yup, there's a punish. Uh, that should be dead. Oh, no. Great air dodge by Flo. Oh, but yeah, the megawatt coverage. This is, you know, this is looking more like the ban of Min Min, you know, that, that one double down last year. That this aggression is just getting stuffed entirely by Banham. This is... This is just like a min-min game. Is always two-framing a little early? Granted, it's better to two-frame early and miss than late and miss, because if, at least if you're early, you are more able to, like, ledge trap. Okay, good aggression there on that offstage sequence by Flo. I'm gonna even up the stocks, even though he is at 97%. Ow, Jesus. Of course, the small side blast zones of town are going to make it very scary to get hit by things like jab back air, uh, side B especially. Oh, pinging with it and going through. <gasps> Ban him with the SD. Yeah, he did. He definitely did. Oh, I guess he just mistimed the up B canceling of the smash attacks. Yeah, not getting these ledge traps. Flow's timings have been eluding Banham entirely. 39%. Yeah, suddenly, again, this is just like game one. This It was a big lead for Proto Banham, and now uh, Flo has the lead, and it can be terrifying to bring that back. Ooh, he got the Jide B? He got the Jide B. Especially because of the DI in there, that made it a bit easier, I think. And the super in hit of the, the jab itself. That was so good. 73, bop, ding, ding, bop, boom. Ooh, and Flo pops off, you can see in the corner. He, like, puts his, like, fist up when he gets the final hit of the side B, and then it kills, and he pops off. Oof, that was really good. Jab side B is actually insane, and it's one of the reasons I still think Roy is very, very good. So Bannum goes back to Lucina, given the fact that his Min Min uh, doesn't seem... I mean, he, he messed... Like, he got a really early stock and then died to his own mistake, so he goes back to Lucina to try to just win the Swordy battle. Because, again, he was winning game one, he just, you know, got clutched on. So he's like, well, if I just play better, I can probably win. Oh, nice up air to just cover the space. Flo is really good at, like, being aggressive and, like, trying to suffocate people, but then, you know, just backing up and giving them a little space, but then still covering all that space. Like, that dash back is really good. Not going to hit its mark there, so he's going to get punished, but still, like, he's picking his spots really well to, like, be hyper-aggressive, and then to, like, when he's backing up and when he's just kind of chilling. Yeah, that, you know, side B down three is going to be so tricky for Lucina. Good tech by Flo. Well, the thing is, like, the reason that it feels like Flo is, like, really familiar with this is, of course, he has uh, Leon, the French Lucina and Krom player. So he has the a lot of experience in this matchup more than the, Luc the, more than the, the Min Min for sure. But still, ban him with the lead. Ooh! That's the type of interaction you get when you know the matchup is you know that that second hit of Nair cannot hit, so you can just dash forward and hit him. That was so smart. Gets the falling. Ooh, good parry. Again, like, Flo is so ready for all of these swings down, because, again, that you can just literally see his comfort in the matchup. Nice parry. Again, tries to read the tech in. Phantom techs away, and now we have a pretty even game here. I mean, I would definitely say Roy is still winning, because, I mean, Lucina's a death percent, whereas... I feel like uh, Roy's only at death percent to an edge guard specifically. Oh, sour spots. Parry. Saibi not going to connect fully, though, because of that spaced on the sword. Oh, tried to go for a jump punish there instead of the ground punish, and that's going to be very different. Again, gets the tech. 
Empty jump jab, not gonna hit. Nair though, again, look at this pressure from Flo. Has Bantam in the corner, what's he gonna be able to do? Nothing there, but neither is uh, Proto Bantam. Oh, yup, there is that just like YOLO, you're gonna swing and miss time it. Landing fair spot dodge. Proto going for a uh, an out of shield ground move, which is definitely gonna be too slow on a Roy Aerial. How much damage can Flo get before he dies already? 26% is pretty good. That's all it's gonna be. What can he do to, oh, I, mm, back air there, interesting. I. I feel like I expected a nice. That was so smart. I feel like I expected a uh, another up air, and then again, this is just kind of the the knowledge, right? Knowing that jab on shield here, uh, Flo can just up it because if uh, Proto Ban him doesn't go for the second hit of the jab, the up -E punishes, and if it does go for the second hit of the jab, then this up -E armors it and then hits him. Which again, I will gladly take. What was it? Six percent for about twenty. Why does Roy's up -E do twenty? Not gonna get the full tech just there. What a forward tilt by Proto, Jesus. Uh oh, there's a, oh, I thought that was gonna be a tech chase, not quite. Proto fighting for his life right now. Empty jumps for Flo, that was so good. Jesus. Like the fact that you can go for full hop empty jumps against a Lucina player that can just swat you out of the air with up air technically is insane and gets the ledge jump and Flo wins 3-1 over Proto with the respectful pop-off of a bow. Pop-off. Saw that on Twitter. That was some good stuff by Flo. Again, Europe showing that they are, of course, very strong. As a region, they're really good. Gluto winning rewired. Flo ended up getting 17th here at Kagadibi number 11 after a huge upset against Proto. So good stuff to them. Uh, Thank you all for watching. I do have some more videos from this last week and coming up. I will see you all next time.